Hi and welcome to this Adobe Fireworks CS3 tutorial in which we will be looking at using vector shapes to enhance the image that we're working with. So we've got what I think is quite a good magazine cover developing here. We've got some good, uh, we've combined text and bitmap so far the, for the photographs that we've used with the guitar player and it's coming along well but I do think we need to enhance a couple of areas of the magazine especially uh, really the unique selling point and I think there's really two selling points for this magazine especially the thing that tells us it's a special edition and at the bottom the fact that there's a gift within the magazine or something free in the magazine so and I, and I could make those stand out a little bit more and I don't even think moving them in front of the text on its own is enough uh, in front of the image is enough so I'm gonna actually put some um, use my vet tools to create some shapes which I can use to kind of enhance that part of the screen so I'm just use a rectangle tool and a tip is a way I recommend as soon as you click the rectangle tool or click the shape tool notice you just hover over the little click and hold over the triangle in the corner and you can choose any of these shapes that you want uh, so I'm going to go for a rectangle and then before you do anything else choose the colour that you want to work with so I've decided I'm going to have a red background and I'm not going to put a line around it you could put well, I might as well just put a red line around it and that's the thickness that's the thickness of my line and that's the fill colour okay. and you can change from a solid fill to having pattern fills uh, and gradient fills if you want you could experiment with that I'm just going to go for a good solid block of color so all I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle on my screen I'm not obviously not going to leave it here I'm just going to put it on there that's what I've got and then I'm going to move it so use my pointer tool and drag it to the top which is where it's going to go and what I obviously need to do is do something with my layers and I also need to change the text color because that's red text so it's not going to show up so I'm going to highlight the bit there that says special edition and make it white and that looks like that's worked and then I'm going to move that over the top now At the moment that's covered everything and that's obviously because that is the top layer one thing I should have told you about when working with layers is it's a good idea to name them so if I double click on rectangle I'm going to call that one top and I can rename it and it's a good idea to rename your layers so you know what they are so I'm going to move this one below there Johnny Mark special edition and that looks a bit better now and I'm just going to use the resize tool and trim that again so that if I zoom out you can see how that stands out a little bit more now uh, I'm going to do something similar at the bottom I'm actually going to use another ve uh, vector shape click on the arrow and, and hover triangle and hover and I'm going to go for an arrow and this time I'm going to do a black arrow on which I'm going to sit that red and white text so I'm going to just draw the arrow here first okay, and adjust it in fact what I'll do is I'll get my image to the right size I'll pause the video, get it to the right size and then show you how I'm going to work with it ok so I've got my uh, arrow now, I've adjusted that to the size I want I haven't actually changed the colour so I'm just going to change the line colour again to black and you can see that's happened and then change the fill colour to black and then I'm going to move this down to the bottom underneath here, right to the foot of that and then I, what I obviously need to do is move and rename so I'm going to call arrow auto shape I'm going to call that one bottom arrow and then I'm going to move that to the bottom of my or near the bottom it needs to be on top of actually it need that's the wrong place it needs to be on top of my bitmap there we go done it and then what I can do is I can just move my text over the top like that and what that does is it gives me quite a nice uh, unique selling point for my magazine which stands out a little bit more and if and if I wasn't happy with with just quite how much um, how dominant that color was again I can use the opacity tool 
and I can apply, and I think that's quite nice actually, I can apply some opacity some, to adjust how that appears over the top of the picture. So sometimes it's a nice idea to, to combine vector images, so images which you can create and resize along with your bitmap and your text and it helps just to create areas on your magazine cover that will stand out a little bit more strongly provide you another tool for doing emphasis so hey, why don't you experiment try some of the different tools that there are there that, as well as the arrow you've got circular tools which might work quite well having a little uh, circular standout area or even a star so it all depends on again the audience and the kind of magazine that you're working from so have a go and see how you get on.